Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Cam Plays at long last, Grim Fandango! And, uh, oh boy, it's been a while. I don't even remember how to play! Finding me a watch. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, so you hold R1 to. Okay, so, good thing the last game I, I was comp uh, completing before returning back to this was Resident Evil, because the controls are pretty much similar with uh, by, uh one or two less buttons. Okay, so how do I do. Uh, okay, just getting a feel for the controls? Okay. Where was I? Okay, with a little help from a friend of mine, I am now back on track, including a very specific, uh, I don't know how I would have figured it out crazy, otherwise, uh, thing for a puzzle later. Okay, um, let's see. La, uh, hmm, Nick, I need a lawyer. Nick, I need a lawyer. You get yourself in some kind of trouble, Calavera. Uh, let's see, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, actually I'm trying to adopt Gladys. Actually I'm trying to adopt Gladys. Manny. That demon is over 2,000 years older than you. Not up here, he ain't. He needs guidance. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or an excellent lawyer? Um, an, an excellent, excellent lawyer. lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer? The, hmm, the very best is good enough for me. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. Uh, <laughs> well, the best lawyer would have to be a dead lawyer. Well, that narrows it down to just about everybody here in the land of the dead. Come back when you know more about what you want. And by the way, Manny, lawyer jokes. Not funny. <laughs> okay, there's got to be something I, I can get from this guy. It, it's it's really it's really okay, strange so coming back and playing this game. And a chicken are all in this lifeboat sea. They're getting hungry, and the chicken says, "I have a gun, Manuel." <laughs> That's all he has to say. Um, Virago, I really need a lawyer. Virago, I really need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Uh, no, we just need someone for the dunking booth over at the oh, club. <laughs> Funny guy. <laughs> Dang it. He <laughs> wouldn't show up for a second. Okay, let's try it one more time. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Okay, uh, Virago, I need a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. I need a lawyer. What is it this time, Calavera? Okay, um, someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. Someone's claiming my roulette tables are fixed. But your roulette tables are fixed. Exactly. That's why I need a lawyer. I'll ask you again. So will you be needing a regular lawyer or a next? Ah, okay, lawyer? let's go through the motions. Um, an, an excellent, excellent lawyer. lawyer. Any excellent lawyer or the best excellent lawyer. The best. The very best is good enough for me. And who would you say that would be, Calavera? Who would you say is the best lawyer you know in all the land of the dead? You are, Nick. You are, Nick. That's right. And that's why Maximino retains me on an exclusive basis. So, sorry, but I don't do odd jobs. Well, crap. How do I get you, man? Huh. Oh, he's, he's looking yeah, at the cigarette case. Me do it. Huh. I don't really want to do that. Okay, so the cigarette case is there. What do I need it for? Okay, so apparently... Uh, I need to go, uh, right now, I need to go back to the morgue. Boy, that was, that seems like forever ago. It's been forever since I played this game, but it's like, whew, that long. Okay, how do I get back to the morgue? I think I, I go up here, right? It's in here, right? I don't remember where everything is. All right, gotcha. Can I, can I talk to you or no? Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Huh. Okay, so I was told I'm supposed to do this? Are you sure you're looking hard enough? Look, Manuel, these old eyes are tired. I'm doing the best I can, but the average retirement age beachcomber has more sophisticated equipment than I've got here. Oh, I get it. Here, I got something for you. I don't know why I'm doing this, but... Would a metal detector help the cause? Hey, just like downtown. You never know what this'll turn up. An engraved ring, 
A belt buckle with somebody's name on it? <laughs> Who would wear a belt buckle with the... <laughs> oh. Okay, come on. Go to the other body. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Oh god, he glitched out. <laughs> Oh, I see what I just did. I'm getting him to. I'm getting him to convince th that Alaska, <laughs> sailor's it dead. Looks like I've got one of your boys down here in the morgue. A sailor by the name of. Oh man, that's genius! Nonsense. I love it. What? How? Sprouted? But ah, oh, this town's going to hell. Sailor can't even take a two-day shore leave without watching his back. Yeah, yeah, I'll come down in the morning. <sighs> All day long. <laughs> well, I he's not really dead, but still. Well, that guy's dead, but not the real uh, Naranga. And I piece together stories, but none of my stories end well. They all end here, and the moral of every story is the same. We may have years. We may have hours, but sooner or later, we push up flowers. Oh man, that was beautiful, dude. All right, so that's how you get him to convince, uh, that's how you convince him to, uh, <laughs> that he's not showing up anytime soon. Oh, that's genius, brilliant. Okay, well, that still doesn't help solve my dilemma of what am I supposed to do now? Okay, so I, I no longer have the metal detector, I no longer, but that was, that was genius, I like that. Okay, but what now? All right, so I have been informed that I, I missed something. Huh. All right, I'm heading back to my office to go pick it up. A apparently, oh, is it this disc? My wartime communications from Salvador. He's been sending me messages like this for the last year. Agent Calavera, I have word that you arrived in Rubacaba safely. This is great news, as your service to the LSA may now continue. I am pleased to report the successful hatching of the eggs you liberated. The hatchlings, which Eva has named Manny and Meche, are quite healthy and eager to serve our cause. Oh. Look, my next letter will be born to you across the sky by these young gossamer wings of truth. For the revolution, Salvador Limones. I'm not done reading it yet, but maybe later. Huh. Okay, so I got this letter. What's that for? Okay, so I, I read the note. Uh, I kept reading it. And, um, he was pretty much, uh, you know, Salvador was pretty much telling me about all, all these notes and about how apparently Manny converted this place, which used to be an automat, into this club. And now, as of today, the most recent letter, uh, is telling, uh, Manny about how he's in danger and how, how pretty, they pretty much know he's here. So he better get the hell out of here anyway. So, perfect timing. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, once again, um, I have little idea why, although all of a sudden I sort of have an idea. Uh, I was told to come see these guys and show them <laughs> the uh, little clipping I got. Where is it? There. Yeah, there it is. Calavera. It is indeed. Say please feed. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Talk to these guys. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. Huh. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. <laughs> man, are you cheese. Maybe can I pick up this book now? Do you mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. Huh. Whatever the heck this is for. Crazy. 
<laughs> Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one. The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. <laughs> I don't know what I got this for, but uh, okay. This town. Oh, big city crime, Manny. We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You will <laughs> take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good, because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. All right, okay. I still got a couple things to apparently take care of, though, so let's get to it. I uh, just, I was <laughs> looking for this area right here, and then, uh, <laughs> you know, on my way back, and uh, accidentally went in there and triggered that cutscene. So I figured, uh, what the heck, start recording. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm told to keep talking yeah. to. Where, where do I go? I was told to keep talking to Nick. So uh, maybe uh, something yeah. good will happen this time. Hey, Nickaroo, how's it going? Nah, he'd see me do it. No, I, I want to talk to him. How's tricks, Nick? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um. Uh, I have to tell this to someone? I hate I cats? I have to tell this to someone. I hate cats. Me too. But they keep the lights on around here. Uh, pfft. Okay. I love cats personally myself. I need you a lawyer? Go, I really need a lawyer. Well, my dance card is full. So what are you gonna do? Um. Aha! <laughs> with, with this guy. Hold on. Um. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. I could tell Max about you and Olivia. That sort of claim could send a man like Max into quite a rage, especially if the messenger had no proof. Max and I are friends. He'll believe me. People believe what they want to believe, Calavera. And I want to believe you're a smart man who doesn't go around spreading dangerous rumors. I've got to talk to Max for a moment. When I get back, I hope you're gone, because I'm sick of looking at you. Listen to Gladys, and Man, you know this what? This is gonna get me in trouble. I'm gonna take your case. There's something rattling inside. Must be in a hidden compartment somewhere, but I don't see a latch or anything. That reminds me, I still haven't done my taxes. <laughs> okay, so uh. It's a cigarette case. Huh. Well, I, I, I have no idea what to do right now, so I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Thank you guys all so much for watching. For those who have been waiting for this episode forever, it's nice to be back in my triumphant return to Grim Fandango. And this time, we're going to go all the way through until completion. For those watching this in the future, uh, <laughs> you didn't have to wait that long. Um, I, uh, I, yeah, until I figure out what to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just uh, and I'm just gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been Cam Plays Grim Fandango, and I will see you guys all in the next episode. Leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to get knighted today. And love yourself, because Cam loves you too. Huzzah!